there's definitely a, a valuation bubble with certain specific companies. I don't think there's a bubble in technology overall. It depends on how you define a startup. I mean, is, is, is Airbnb a startup? Is Uber a startup at this point? I mean, they're pretty big companies. They have big revenues. They're a lot bigger than most of the companies that are that we would not consider startups. So, and they're, they're certainly a lot bigger than a lot of publicly traded companies. Some of these individual companies may be themselves overvalued. Um, it's almost certainly the case, but it's hard to tell when you're in it which ones. Even in the recent history, uh, there's companies like Zynga and Groupon that never fully delivered on their promise. So we don't have to look too far back for examples of companies that where there was a, a, a valuation bubble. I understand where um, folks come from when they can look at kind of investor valuations on these new companies, especially what we call the D round. For some reason, these D round valuations, which are kind of later stage rounds, are extremely high. And I think that's the right way to characterize it. I've looked at the, the numbers. I don't really think there's a, um, a bubble. I think that there is a huge amount of innovation that has happened in Silicon Valley that is getting monetized. We see it all over the world.